Django is a powerful tool that makes web development significantly faster. It's all about making websites that are easy to build and look nice. It's one of the best tools for creating web applications. Moreover, it's in the top 5 most popular frameworks to work with. That's why if you are a Python programmer, the idea to learn Django is always valid. And it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or an experienced developer. The downside is that it might be challenging to learn. That's why books might be of a great help here. My name is Daniel, and today I will tell you about the 3 books on Django that are the best out there, in my opinion. These books are great if you want to learn this Python-based framework, serial examples and use proven methods to build strong and adaptable projects. Let's go! Django for beginners. Build websites with Python and Django. And the first book for today is perfect for people who are just starting and want to learn Django from the very beginning. It teaches you everything from preparing a proper setup to making a complete web app. Honestly, this book might be the best source on Django you will ever find as a beginner. In simple words, this book guides you carefully from very basic concepts to more advanced ones. It makes sure you get a good understanding of what you are learning. It works like this. The book introduces a concept, provides practical examples of the concept, show how to use these concepts to create more advanced things, gradually make things more challenging as you go along. Django for Beginners includes 5 projects, each a little more difficult than the previous one. The author explains concepts in a way that's easy to understand for beginners. It doesn't just assume you already know a lot like many other books do. He even keeps his GitHub updated when new versions of Django are out. And guys, I can only respect this level of care and dedication. The book isn't super big and includes only 15 chapters. And here they are. And as you see, it's a great step-by-step -step guide to Python and Django. Author. William S. Vincent used to be on the board of the Django Software Foundation. He's written three books about Django, works on the Django chat podcast, helps write the Django News newsletter and manages LearnDjango.com. He's made some well-liked extra tools for Django, talk at many DjangoCon conferences and talk computer science at Williams College. So why do I like this book? This is hands down one of the best books for people new to Django. The author teaches the basics through hands-on examples. It is also helpful if you want to brush up on your Django skills for interviews. It explains how to create 5 websites right from the beginning, including a blog and a newspaper site. I absolutely love how practical it is. Alright, we could talk about this book for hours, but let's move on to the next one. 2 Scoops of Django Guys, I create content for software developers with the idea to help beginner programmers to grow. And in return, I only ask to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. That's all. This is the latest edition of the well-known Django Best Practices Guide. It's not like a regular tutorial, it has chapters for different parts of Django like models, views, templates, forms and more. That's why many Django developers always have this book nearby. It's a valuable reference for making Django projects. This book is most helpful for people who have some experience with Django projects and already know the basics of Django. In two scoops of Django, the author share lots of helpful tips, tricks, patterns, pieces of code and techniques they have learned over the years. Guys, this book is an improved and bigger version of the previous one. There is new information on topics like GraphQL, Django REST framework, security and more. And yes, this book is pretty big. There are over 500 pages of incredibly engaging content, including informative graphs and diagrams. And if you look at the table of contents, you will see that it's pretty extensive and detailed. Authors. Daniel Roy Greenfield and Audrey Roy Greenfield are a married couple who teamed up to give you this book. Daniel is a professional fiction writer, he is also a skilled software expert who has co-written a branch of Python web development books. He is spoken at important Python and Django events worldwide. Daniel also used to work for NASA as a senior software developer. He has also made some really useful open source tools that lots of organizations use. Audrey is most famous for her work as a programmer. She is one of the main creators of Cookie Cutter Django. It's one of the most commonly used projects templates for making Django web applications. So why do I think this book is great? 
I think this book is great because it doesn't just help you build Django apps. It tells you how to build them the right and most efficient way. I also like how this book is written. The authors make difficult technical stuff easy to understand with their clear and straightforward style. And it's a perfect for making new ideas simple to understand. Alright guys, and finally here is the last book for today. Django for Professionals. After you pick up the first book on this list, this one will be a no-brainer for you. Written by the same author, it's one of the finest advanced Django books. It teaches you how to create Django apps that are ready for use by lots of users and can handle huge amount of data. In my opinion, it's an amazing option to pick up right after you finish Django for Beginners. And as you know, there are a lot of Django books for beginners. And it's easy to choose one and learn the basics. But what if you need more than that? Becoming really good at something can be challenging. But luckily, William Vincent has made your life much easier by writing this book. Alright, so the book can be broken down into two parts. During the first nine chapters, each chapter teaches you something new by making a small app. For example, you learn how to create a Docker file and set up a PostgreSQL database for Python in Docker. After that, from chapter 10 to 18, you build a real project using Django, Docker and advanced ideas like permissions, improving performance and security. Even despite the fact this book doesn't follow the test-driven approach. You will do a lot of testing. Folks, to be honest, I think that some topics could use more detail in this book. On the other hand, if the book went into depth on everything, it would be much longer than its current 357 pages. This book is for professionals for a reason. It shows you the right path, gives some examples and lets you dive into the details on your own. Here is what you see when you look inside. And by the way, the book is completely updated 4.2 version of the framework. Author. Alright, I know I already introduced the author a few minutes ago. But I just want to add a few more words. Apart from Django for Beginners and Django for Professionals, William Vincent wrote one more book on Django called Django for APIs. It's a great book on writing APIs using REST and reusable code. So consider to pick that one up too, if that's what you need. Why I think Django for Professionals is a good choice. In my opinion, this book has a number of very strong advantages. I love that this book talks about interesting and highly relevant things like Docker and security. So if you want to learn about security, you can just go to the security chapter instead of searching for it all over the book. This book covers advanced topics, which is great. And usually many other Django books don't go into these advanced areas. It's also easy to understand, the instructors are clear and there are pictures to help you. So it's hard to make mistakes when you follow along with the book. That's why if you want to take your Django skills to an advanced level, this book is going to be great for you. Alright, my friends, there are three Django books starting from the basics and going all the way to advanced level. They will really help you become a pro at Django and Python. You can find the links to these books in the description. Take a look and choose the one that is perfect for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time!